So <laughs> this is tough to follow the the mix. Um, this is so much more serious, but I mean I don't want it to be serious. So um, basically these are things that people say to me, and uh, because I do math stuff. Um, <laughs> Um, so does anyone, has anyone said this to someone who does not? Yeah? yeah? Okay, okay, well, I don't like you. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, these are the things that I do react to. I mean, I do PR for um, something called the Fields Institute. Um, and also I do videography for the math department at the University of Toronto. So I'm trying to like give math like a public face. So um, that's the Fields Medal. Um, John Charles Fields was a Canadian mathematician. Um, basically, he established this field, uh, this field panel uh, afterwards, after World War I, and um, basically to get internationally, to get mathematicians to work together, to work on projects and, and collaborate. And these are some of the field panelists. Well, not this guy. Um, but these are all mathematicians. Um, so they, all, they you know, come in different varieties and stuff like this. Some have hair, some have less hair. It's kind of interesting. But there are three types, and they are those that can count and those that cannot. And obviously, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that, that brings the question of, you know, like, what is a mathematician? This is a question that, you know, was easy to answer before. Um, but now, you know, engineers, what are, are they? Are they mathematicians? The guy who made the piano thing, um, he, like, the piano kid is really awesome. He studied math. He told me, I don't know if he's still here. I think he left. Um, yeah, but that, that's kind of interesting. I mean, these guys are not mathematicians. Um, <laughs> they're not the average mathematician, right? So like, like the piano kid guy. He's like, you know, someone who liked math when growing up, and he, be, he became someone else. He studies, does tons of research and all that. I, I don't know if I should say all that. But anyways, um, these guys, are, these are extreme examples, you know? like. I mean, I like this movie. Goodwill Hunting was a great movie filmed in Toronto, University of Toronto. Um, I, <laughs> so cool stuff. And um, basically, they, they show these people being very eccentric, you know? Uh, mathematicians are not that crazy. <laughs> I see someone shaking their head. I mean, maybe it's not true. Maybe there are the crazy types out there. But, you know, um, uh, this is how it's portrayed in the media. And, you know, there's there's... There's, uh, in the next few slides, there's, you'll see something, but anyways, I, I won't follow that strictly. Um, yeah, there, there's something like 100,000 new theorems being, you know, researched each year. And that's, that's a huge number, you know, like, I mean, they don't solve crimes. They, they, <laughs> they, they produce fundamental results that can have practical applications, you know. We wouldn't have Google without um, matrices, and those are something that was invented, you know before the turn of the, you know, 1900s, like, 19, yeah, so um, these kinds of things have very important implications. So this is the kind of thing that is being portrayed. This guy is Gregory Perelman, and this is the Fields Medal that you saw earlier. He was awarded the Fields Medal um, in 2006, but he declined it. And James Cameron, that's this guy up here, he's going to be creating a movie about that story in, in a couple, I, I'm not sure why, but um, I'm not really sure if, um, you know, that's the right way to go. I mean, there's, there are different types of mathematicians and we always, this is a problem. I mean, there's a culture and, you know, it's a huge thing. So 59 research institutes in the world, um, and I currently work at one of them, the Fields Institute. Uh, what I want to do is I want to connect all of them. That's, that's my main goal. I want to improve communication between all of these different uh, institutes and have them talk about what they do that's good so that we don't have a bad reputation as people that study math. So this is a huge conference, the International Congress for Mathematicians. In 2010, um, they, so every four years, it happens every four years, and um, <clears throat> they uh, award the Fields Medal and a bunch of other medals that you'll see in a few slides. So you'll see this Fields Medal in a few seconds. This is the International Math Union logo. So I, I believe that they are the vehicle that could increase this communication. So I want to connect myself with them. Um, so being at the Fields Institute, I am working on um, something called the Fields Metal Symposium. So um, we're trying to bring that Canadian story back to Canada. I mean, the, the Fields Medal was created here. Um, the Fields Medalist that um, we will be honoring at this symposium, uh, he answered a bunch of open questions that were stated by a Canadian. So, um, but the person who solved it, who solved these quest open questions, he's from Vietnam. 
and then now he studies in Chicago. So, you know, it's an international thing. Mathematics is ubiquitous. You, you can use it for different things. You don't know when you can apply it. But it's very interesting to me. That's why I sort of switched out of, of you know, I was originally just studying my undergrad until last year. So just doing math, you know, solving problems, stuff like that. Um, not trying to win any prizes or anything, just for the pure interest of it. And, that, you know, that characterizes a lot of mathematicians. So this is my blog at the Fields Metal Symposium. So uh, basically here I was just talking about, um, you know, what it means to have solved that problem. I mean, the implications are huge. These, these questions um, can connect different dif disciplines. So uh, it's kind of like good design. I mean, good design can bring people together. I mean, you don't really see how, what it can connect, but the, the results are sort of you know, unexpected. Anyways, um, this talk is really quick. And, uh, but anyways, um, check these things out if you can. Um, I would really appreciate it. We have the symposium happening on the 15th. Um, at, uh, of October, and that will be a public event, you know, people will come, hopefully you can come as well. Uh, this is the 2014 International, Math, uh, International Congress of Mathematicians, and I want to go there and be the main person to cover it. I want to uh, develop all the running stories of all the mathematicians leading up to there. So this is a, a second thing, so I have like 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so the 2014 uh, International Congress, I hope that more people will become aware of what mathematicians actually do, instead of being crazy. <laughs> Thank you.